Let's take you now to the January 6th committee and the primetime hearings that happened last night. Yeah, the committee discussed the case of the North Texas man who leads the Oath Keepers and who's charged with seditious conspiracy. Political reporter Jack Fink is joining us now with a recap and a whole lot of reaction, Jack. Well, Ken and Nicole, the January 6th committee mentioned Stuart Rose, who was set to stand trial on seditious conspiracy and other charges at the end of September. His attorneys insist Rose did not conspire with the Proud Boys or any el anyone else to interfere with the peaceful transfer of presidential power. During the primetime hearing, the House committee investigating the attack on the U.S. Capitol January 6th showed a video of the head of Oath Keepers, Stuart Rhodes, meeting with the head of the Proud Boys, Enrique Tarrio, in a Washington, D.C. garage. Both Rhodes and Tarrio were charged with seditious conspiracy in separate cases filed by federal prosecutors. But Rhodes' attorney called the encounter a chance meeting. And you'll notice that when Stuart walks up, they shake hands and say, nice to meet you, which indicates they've never met each other before and didn't really know. They knew of each other, but had never met each other. The committee also played a portion of an interview Rhodes did with InfoWars yeah, before January 6th, encouraging people to go to yeah. Washington. It's, it's either President Trump is encouraged and, and bolstered and strengthened to do what he must do, or we wind up in a, in a bloody fight. We all know that. The fight's coming. Rhodes has pleaded not guilty and denied any wrongdoing. His attorneys say the Oath Keepers were planning to provide security for the group Latinos for Trump, who were holding an event that day. The committee tells a different story. The committee learned that the Oath Keepers set up quick reaction forces outside of the city in Virginia where they stored arms. The goal of these quick reaction forces was to be on standby just in case President Trump invoked the Insurrection Act. Another member of the Oath Keepers who pleaded guilty for his role January 6th claimed that night he was there when Rhodes placed a call to the White House trying to contact President Trump. Mr. Rhodes is absolutely adamant that that phone call was never made at all. Um, to date, we have not been given any evidence that directly shows that that phone call was made. The January 6th committee has not yet connected the dots between Rhodes, Tario of the Proud Boys, and President Trump. And Rhodes' attorneys say they're not concerned. There's going to be a, a, a massive difference in terms of the allegations regarding seditious conspiracy between the two groups. And to date, we have never been shown any evidence at all. Rhodes' attorneys have previously requested to move their case out of Washington because they worry they won't be able to get a fair trial. The judge has not made a decision just yet. The attorneys say the primetime hearing will make it harder for them to do their jobs. The January 6th committee will meet again Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week during the day, not primetime. Nicole and Ken?